Hello everyone on YouTube. I'm gonna give y'all a quick tour of my 1997 Road Trek 170 that I bought two weeks ago. So um, I'll just go from the exterior and go in. So here's the front of it. <clears throat> um, it's got the 5.2 liter Magnum and automatic transmission on it. Um, just for y'all's information, I picked this up for $9,500. The uh, calipers on the front were locked up and it also needs air conditioning and some other work. Here's a side of it. So, got the refrigerator running right now. The back of the water heater there. Here's the good storage compartment they come with. I'll show you the propane tank is down here. Looks like it's about half a tank. Got the refrigerator running and I ran the heater one night. It's been about a week or two since I filled that up. Um, needs new tires, maybe. Go around to the back. The back of the refrigerator there on top. We have the fan going. Here's the back of the van. It's got a 35 gallon gas tank. Um, I've gotten anywhere from 14 to almost 18 miles to the gallon. You can see on the back here, uh, this is where the 120 volt house air conditioner goes, trailer hitch, all that stuff. Let's see if it'll, it's locked right now. You got a storage compartment underneath here. It is a Ram 2500, but it's kind of on the half ton axles with the five lugs. But if you went for the 5.9 Magnum, I think you got eight lugs wheels. Uh, here's the canopy. Got a porch light there. Okay. Kind of got these fiberglass steps all along. I don't know still what I'm gonna do with the paint steam. Sorry, I'll back up here. But um, I'm thinking black rims and black, paint the fiberglass stuff black. I did wax the body and clean it. The van's name is Dale, and that's uh, part of the reason my girlfriend Julia said that, but also was sold at Earnhardt's in Arizona at some point. So I'll get in here and we'll show you. So let me turn some more lights on. So here's the front here. Um, we got the driver's seat, pretty basic. You don't have a tachometer on the 97. Um, Simple layout, got radio there. It's a one and a half den, so you're not gonna be able to fit a double den necessarily. Planning on putting newer stereo or newer radios in it. I haven't done that. So here we have this kind of dresser. I got my backpack full of clothes, dirty laundry and school bag or work bag there. I have cleaning supplies up here. Need to replace the smoke detector. There's the furnace there. Stove top, sink, trash bag. Now behind these, um, these are locking cabinets here. Pretty nice. You got a fan here for the stove, sink, refrigerator. Here's the places I've visited so far. I've been to Bend, Oregon and Port Angeles, Washington. Here's the third seat. This turns into a dinette and this table will pull out and the seats will swivel if you'd like. This also pulls out. Here's the microwave. This will run on uh, shore power, but I'm gonna buy an inverter so that it'll run on the batteries. Once I get that set up, there's the air conditioner and the fan. Turn that off to cut out some of the noise. Here's the bed in the back. It's a full size bed. It's about six foot two inches, I think, in length. Um, which I'm six foot three and I'm able to sleep perfectly fine. And here's the restroom. It's really functional actually. Um, even though this is a 17 foot van. So um, it's just a regular Thurford toilet. I have my supplies there. 
and I have not used the shower yet. Okay, so that's just a little introduction video. Um, I'm gonna switch this around. 